Hello, Shumai, and welcome back to the Austrian Adventure with SCR Altach. And today we are going to play probably the one of the toughest game, well, one of two toughest games of the season against FC Red Bull Salzburg. If you think Austria, this is the team you think. This is the best team in Austria. Controversially show maybe with the whole Red Bull saga, but nevertheless, they have won the league. A long a lot a lot of times in a row and that is who we are facing today let's take a quick look at how things have gone we've only played a um yeah a couple of games since last episode because i just wanted to bring you this one um we lost 2-1 away at wolfsburger which is so depressing because we can save them in the 90th minute and yeah we were quite gutted by that and i was thinking oh no is this going to be another one where we just start off terrible and get sacked before we can even do anything. But then we went away to Rapid Vienna, another stalwart of Austrian football, fantastic team, and won 1-0. We scored off a mistake from the defence, they passed it straight to Patrick Seeger, who did have a lot to do and still finished. They got a man set off at the 85th minute, and really they didn't have that many chances. Andrea Luxer played well across the board, there was a lot of good performances. And there's a new name there. And if you want to check out the transfers, we've actually made some transfers. Um, one is from CEC. I know the Brazilian names are messed up on this Cruzeiro, though we can see by the badge from Cruzeiro. Rick Senna, who is basically going to be, he's probably not going to be a starter. So he's, he's going to be a backup striker, backup winger on both sides. He can play both wings, which is very useful to have off the bench. He's already played one game for us. He's, he's good quality for this league. That's, that's, he's very well suited to first division, but I think he's got good potential. Maybe we could bring him in at the end of the season. He's on, he's worth 185k, so I don't know how likely that is. But he's got some, he's very well rounded for someone who's 19 years of age. He's a good player. I mean, he's got good agility, good pace. Crossing leaves a little bit to be decided. Good dribbling though, great finishing, good first touch. Also good free kick taking. So he's, he's there as a backup winger. So if we've got a little bit more strength and depth. And there's the same reason why I bought in Stian Road Gregunsen. and we bought him from Mold, who is our senior affiliate from Norway. This guy is Norwegian, unsurprisingly. And one of the main reasons we bought him in is because he's just so versatile. He's competent at playing centre back, right back, defensive midfield, or midfield. We're most likely to use him as a centre, a backup centre midfielder. But I mean. In terms of backup, look at his strength. 15 strength, 14 tackling, 13 marking. He's a very good defensive-minded player. If we look in terms of... He's our second best right back. He's joint second in terms of central defenders. And he's also another good, competent midfielder. He's someone who's going to come off, probably start on the bench. Um, and maybe come on to make an impact. And obviously, if we get injuries, then... We've got some more players who can come in. That was the key thing, is to get some strength and depth, especially in that mid centre midfield role. So like I said, today we are facing Red Bull Salzburg, who are actually not top. They're, they do have a game in hand over top, but even if they win that, they won't go top, because they've drawn... Who would they draw against? They've drawn nil-nil against SV Riyadh, who are above them. And after three games, we're sitting in seventh, which is not too bad. I think that would keep us our job. <laughs> But we, we need to start improving now. Um, we've got some tough... We have had a tough run of fixtures at the start of the game. Mattersburg, okay, that wasn't the toughest game. Wolfsburger, who wouldn't really be the toughest game, but they've won all three of their first game. We've got, we had Rapid Vienna then, who are one of the best teams in Austria. Then we have... Now we have Red Bull Salzburg. And then we have Sturm Graz. I mean, the best teams in Austria, we're all playing, basically. The only team we're missing out is Austria Vienna. And they're... Well, they're down there. was a little bit further away. But yeah, after three games, we're sitting in seventh position. Um, there's only one point separating us from second, so a win year could take us all the way to second. But it's it's going to be a very difficult game, and I really don't expect to get anything out of it. Thought I'd put it on Livecom, a little bit hopeful um, that we might get any something. When you look at the ratings. Luxa hasn't had the best start of the season, but the centre-back pairing have done very well. Christian Schilling has redeemed himself a little bit because he was on an awful run of form. And Patrick Seeger, the top scorer so far this season with two goals and four appearances. So, 
that's that's how things are going to be going today. Let's go through the team. We have Luxo in goals, Leonhardt, Netzer, Jaeger, and Schilling at the back, Zwischenbrugger and Prokopic in the midfield roles, Nguat Mahop on the right, Salomon behind the striker, Doverden on the left wing, and Patrick Seeger up front. I'm oh, I don't want to be, don't want to say I'm quietly confident about this game, but. The fact that we went away to Rapid Vienne and got our three points was very good. <laughs> I think that's the only way I can describe it. They haven't had the best start of the season. I know in real life they're not doing the best. They actually took SCR Altax's um, manager in real life, uh, Damir Kanadi, who was doing very well with Altax, finished third a few seasons ago, got them into the Europa League, and then Rapid Vienne took him poached him from Altach and now that's where he is in real life. I don't know, I think I've got the update. So the manager of Rapid Vienne should be Damir Kanadi. But I just it's a little bit of an interesting fact for you there. And so today we are play this is the first home game you've seen. I think this is the first home game we've had actually. No we 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 played the first game at home, didn't we? I think yeah. So here we are then against Red Bull Salzburg, the mighty giants of Austria. It's going to be a very tough game, and I would be very happy with just a clean sheet, <laughs> to be honest with you, or any a point. I would take a draw, 100% in this game, as the first half has just absolutely flown past. And we're not going to see an a highlight at all. Apparently, we're doing quite well. Yeah, I'll give them a little confidence boost going into the second half, but, I mean, they're all over us at the moment. They've had so many more shots. They've got a little bit more possession. Here we go. First out of the game, Walker with the goal kick. Can we put some pressure on here? We win the ball back up front. Schwischenbrugger to Nguat Mahop. To the Schwischenbrugger. Oh, he's hit it straight to the keeper. What a chance that was to go 1 0 up. Schwischenbrugger is probably not the player I wanted on that. And then the corner goes straight to Walker in goals. Oh, what a what a chance that was. There's another highlight here. Wisdom. Is that Andre Wisdom? Possibly. Jonathan Soriano, the amazing striker they have in this league. Soriano into the box, Netzer gets there. Can we just get the ball away? Yes, Jäger gets it away, not very far. We've won the ball back though, Sieger. Nat Mahop is on the wing, doesn't get there, but Leanhart's there, putting some pressure on. Mahop with the ball again. Can he put it into the box? He does, header! Oh, he's at the post! Andre Wisdom clears away and we've hit the post. Oh my word, we should be 1-0 up, 100% we should be 1-0 up. Schilling with a throw now to Salomon, to Prokopic, Schwischenbrugger, out wide to Salomon, into Sieger. He's got some space to run into. Strikes it wide. Oh my word, we're playing some lovely football. We've come out firing second half. Patrick Seeger is apparently not having the best game. I might have to take him off now. He's playing a little bit better now. I think I'm going to take Doverdon off though. He's having a poor game. We're going to put Rick Sen on. This is the first, his, his live com debut. Rick Senna. See if he can do it. We'll put him on as an inside forward. Give some support to Patrick Seeger maybe. I don't think I'm going to keep Seeger on for much longer. Yeah, I'm going to put Hans Eigner on up front as the advanced forward. Put him on as a target, man. That's that's where he plays the best. He's a tall striker. Got great head in. And we're going to take Zwischenbrugger off as soon as this lets me to do it because he's very tired. We're going to give Gurgensen his debut. Where's his best role? A ball-winning midfielder on defend. Nice. Show up the midfield a bit. Get a pair of fresh legs in there and hope he can... Shore up the middle midfield. We've got one last attack here, maybe. Rick Senna into the box. Grigudson's there. Please don't lose the ball. He loses it. Gulbranson, good header by Leanhardt. We've won it back. Netzer to Jaeger. Out wide to Rick Senna. Up to Eigner. Ball through to Mahop. What can he do with it? Into the box. And he scored! Hans Eigner. Last minute. 88th minute. Oh my word. Right. We're going to watch this highlight and we're going to go straight into the tactics and go completely defend. Water ball in from Mahop. Spots Eigner and an emphatic finish there. Right, we're going to pause it. Straight to tactics. Straight to contain. Hoof the ball up. Um, more direct goal route pass in. More closing down. Waste time, 100%. Um, I think that's that. Everyone's on defend anyway. Central midfield. We'll put him to a ball with midfield on defend. Switch this guy to support. Support. There we go. Come on. We can hold up for the last few minutes, surely. 
90th minute. They have a corner. Oh no, we have a corner. Fantastic. Jaeger heads wide. That's got to be full time. What a result. Oh my word. I said I was quietly optimistic. We went in on completely defensive minded. And in the end, we bossed the game. Second half, we were all over them. We bossed the game and we 100% deserved to win that. <sighs> well, well, well. They do have Andre Wisdom. Is he there permanently or is that... He's on loan. Huh, interesting. Well, well, well. What a victory. I said it was quietly confident. <sighs> SCR Altach in control as Rot Bullen brushed aside. <sighs> cancel that assignment. Klopp, what? Liverpool's Jurgen Klopp was watching the game. Well, isn't that just interesting? May have been Duja Kaleta Car. Oh, it's a Red Bull Salzburg defender. Yes, please is fantastic. Oh my word. Well, well, well. We beat the Giants of Austria. <laughs> Red Bull Salzburg 1-0. And I, after being seventh after three games, we're now second. Salzburg still have a game of hand over us and could easily leapfrog us. But apart from that, we're looking good. I can't actually genuinely surprised that we won that game. We're lacking a bit in goals at the moment. We've scored three goals in four games. Not the best. But as long as we pick up the points, Hans Eigner with his first goal of the season, first league goal of the season, I think it was. I think it was his first goal in general. Fantastic 88th minute and what my hop with the ball across. He had a fantastic game, and some of the defenders were absolutely brilliant that game. Well, 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 what an episode! What a win! I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. If you want to see more, if you want to see if we can carry on this little good run of form, please subscribe. And if you have any comments or tips or want to ask any questions whatsoever, please leave a comment down below. I'll see you again.